What's up everybody, this is Crypto Cody. I'm so excited to do another video with you guys. And uh, just before we get started, I just wanna encourage you guys to make sure that you do your own research. Don't take everything that I say, or anything for that matter, <laughs> directly to heart. And you know, make sure that you make decisions based off of your own personal studies and what you think is best for you and your responsibility over your own self and decision making financially, et cetera. So uh, with that being said, let's hop into this video. I have a couple of different sweet things that I wanna talk about. And um, first of all, let's take a look at the market, guys. We are seeing green, green, green. This is awesome. We love green. Green uh, is a beautiful thing. It means that we're increasing the value of our portfolios. And that's just, or at least I hope that we are increasing the value of our portfolios. Um, but, you know, then there's also the aspect of like, I personally like red more than green sometimes because I just love being able to buy. Um, and, you know, this is a good time to be selling, guys. It's just, you know, make some small profits if you're day traders. Now, if you're like me, more typically, I'm more of a long term trader. And, you know, I think that, you know, we have a long way to go. And I think it's a great, great road ahead. And I'm really excited about it. Um, you know, I, I'm even to the point where it's like, I believe that this thing that we've been calling the bear market since 2017 you know sure okay in it in that you can call it a bear market you can call it a bearish divergence and all that stuff but the reality is is that it's just a healthy correction from a massive you know from an exciting bull run that we just had um and you know i just think guys i just think it's an exciting place to be right now so Anyways, I'm going to stop babbling. I want to get into this video because I want to talk about something that I do think is really important for us to be taking into consideration and making sure that we're just checking ourselves on and being careful with. So here's the thing, guys. Not everyone really understands what is going to happen with cryptocurrency. We don't know. Okay, None of us have crystal balls. We only have... Um, all we have is... Sorry, that just sounded funny. Crystal balls. I, <clears throat> I don't know why that sounds funny. But anyways, <laughs> none of us have a crystal ball. <laughs> that sounds a little better. But, um, <laughs> so, uh, but the reality is, is that there are people out there that are trying to educate you in cryptocurrency and they almost talk as if they have a crystal ball. And, you know, I just think that, uh, you know, you gotta be careful of these people and let, let's take a look. I want to show you guys something. Um, this is, uh, here we go. So let's check this out. So if you were to go up on YouTube and search, which a lot of people do make money with cryptocurrency. Okay, you will get so many videos that will pop up, okay, on how to make money with cryptocurrency, how to make a thousand dollars every day trading cryptocurrency, make money with cryptocurrency, uh, how to make money with Bitcoin, Bitcoin crypto trading made 146,000 in six hours, you know, like a bunch of clickbait stuff, you know. And now here's the thing I'm not knocking on any of these people because I don't know them all and I haven't seen all these videos, but what I will say is this is that you gotta be careful. We're at the beginning stages of a massive adoption for a huge, huge industry that's centered on money. It's centered on a new way of currency, okay? So here's the thing. You gotta understand there's a lot of, you know, there's two ways to, there's two things to think about. First of all, skepticism, okay? You gotta be skeptical. It's, it's gonna help you sharpen yourself, okay? But at the same time, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a businessman, I've grown up in an entrepreneurial family. I'm all about open-mindedness. I'm more open-minded than I am skeptical. I'm open-minded before skeptical, okay? A lot of people are skeptical before open-minded. If I think the smart person is open-minded before skeptical, okay? But here's the thing. You have to be skeptical. You have to know what it is that they're selling and why they're selling it and what is it doing to benefit them versus what is it doing to benefit you. You have to think about this stuff. Okay, because the reality is, is no one's wasting their time putting out stuff, all right? Like I put out these videos because number one, I'm passionate about cryptocurrency and I enjoy building a community of people where we can start talking about this. But on the other flip side of this too is, I would love to make some money with YouTube, okay? Why not? I mean, that's why we all make these videos, right? Unless there's some people that are just 100% just love the community and those are the best kind out there. I mean, those are just people that love to give, give, give and give and give. And I hope that they get back from the communities that are involved in them as well too. So, but anyways, what I'm saying is, is that there is a lot of clickbait out here and that is fine and dandy, but what information are they giving you and what are they trying to sell you? Okay, because there are so many programs out there, guys. So many scammers, so many programs where people don't give a crap about you. They just give a crap about the money that you're gonna give them. And, and then they just write it off by saying that there are no you know, guarantees and all that crap, okay? And that's fine, okay? They can legally do that. They can legally you know, make a some kind of a contract with you 
where there's no guarantees that they're going to help you make money. But the reality is, is that you got to be careful about that stuff because there's not a whole lot of guarantees in this particular crypto sphere in general. I've got a lot of friends who are um, chart analysis people and every single one of them has told me that this is the most unpredictable time right now for cryptocurrency. It's very un- it's a very unpredictable market. You just don't know what's going to happen. Some people might think, you know, you've had some people say, oh, it's just copying what happened in 2014 and 15 or, oh, it's just copying this. Oh, you just have to look left and go back here and check this out and all that stuff and look what the charts showed in the past. And that's what they're going to show in the future. We don't know that. Guys, we don't know if tomorrow there's going to be, you know, massive regulations in multiple countries that control the vast majority of the banks that would even allow this to be a thing. You know, I mean, we don't know what's going to happen. We just don't know. Um, But what we do know is, is that it's a really exciting uh, community. I personally am am more banking towards this number right here, 172 billion, the total market cap. I'm more banking towards that growing to be a multi-trillion dollar number, Uh, mainly just because it's just a better technology. The uh, blockchain technology, or some people argue with, you know, the tangled technology. They argue that, you know, these technologies are going to transform and change the world. And they are, and they have been, and they will, I believe. But you just don't know what's going to happen. So when you have all these people putting out, you know, like they, they disguise themselves by saying, you know, we're going to take care of you, but there's no guarantee. I mean, guys, there really is no guarantee with this stuff. So you got to be careful when you start giving away extra money for other people's opinions on a, on a, on a particular, uh, industry that's just not really like stable, you know? And so here's the thing, I guess is what I'm trying to say is, is don't be so quick to being suckered into one of these things with these people. Okay. And if you're going to do it, be willing to really lose that money because you know, (laughs) There's so much money that has been lost, guys. It's insane how many people have lost money in this. I've lost money. We've all experienced losing money. Um, or at least not all of us necessarily. But I mean, like, it's just you got to be careful, you know, um, who you're talking to and what are they going to do to help you? But what are they getting from you? And, and it's just, you know, I don't know if you ever heard of the saying, like, don't ever hop into the beginning of something or the end of something, but somewhere in the middle get involved somewhere in the middle. Guys, we're not in the middle yet. That's, I'll be honest. We're not, I don't think we're in the middle. This number right here is not the middle. Okay. When we start hitting a trillion, that's, that's maybe getting closer to the middle. In my opinion, we are just at the beginning of the, uh, mainstream adoption process. We haven't even gotten there yet. Okay. That's in my opinion, that's where we're at. So don't start taking this quote unquote professional advice from people that are making you pay two or three or four or five hundred dollars for their program to give you the best times to do day trading and you know whatever it is that they're trying to do what i would do is is i would take the money that you have you know and i would make sure that you do the research on the people that you know are trying to um that are trying to train you but guys we can i just say this please i mean here's the thing i mean If you want to hop into some kind of a program with someone, go for it, whatever, more power to you. Okay. But this number is so tiny, so small that I believe if you just take care of your own assets and don't touch them and don't don't you know, just, just a a percentage that you're willing to lose and just put it in a special secured wallet with the double, you know, the two authentication process and all that stuff, make sure it's secure. And just don't touch it. And if you want to add to it, add to it. But don't touch it. Because, guys, when this number hits a trillion, I mean, at least if you're investing at least the top 10 or 20 cryptocurrencies, you're going to make some money. I believe. I believe. I mean, I'm no financial advisor. And I please don't make decisions based off of this video. Please. Please don't do that. Make decisions because you want to. Because it's something you want to do. And it's your decision that you made. And you're taking responsibility for your own actions and your own financial spendings. But I'm telling you guys, this number, 172 billion, you know, the fact that Bitcoin is only $5,000 right now in the USD value, the fact that XRP is only 30 cents right now, I can go on and on and on and on. The reality is, is that you're going to make money if you just stay put, leave it there. And then, you know, don't get greedy when we have the next bull run, pull out and make some money. You know what I'm saying? Like actually you don't make money until you pull money out 
okay? Because this is not really defined as, um, it is defined as, as currency, it operates as currency, but it's not, it's not to the public though yet. So you really don't make money until you've actually converted it to your country's currency um, that suits you. So anyways, the whole point of this video is, is um, just be really, really careful when you're investing uh, your money into other people's programs, because especially when it's at the very beginning of the market, guys, the very beginning of the market, be really careful with that stuff. Um, there's a lot of people that are going to, you know, just give you the whole world as far as uh, being comfortable and you know, making you feel comfortable and saying, oh, we're going to take care of you. You just have to spend this much money and we'll take care of you. Don't worry about that. Guys, believe me, I've done it myself. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But here's the thing. Usually something will not work unless you decide to work. Okay. So understand that, you know, if you put your money in someone else's hands, like what I would encourage you to do is educate yourself so you can make a, a smart decision. You know, that's what I would encourage you to do. So anyways, I'm sorry if I'm beating a dead horse. I just really want you guys to make some money. And, um, and here's the thing I would, you know, here's a small little favor that, you know, be helpful for me because I'm not selling programs on cryptocurrency, any of that stuff. That's not what I'm here for. I enjoy this space. I enjoy the community of people. I want to build a community. I want this to be a conversation center where we all have a conversation where you educate me. I do the best I can to educate you. And let's just give each other information back and forth. That's going to help us both grow our wallets and our knowledge and help make a, a much bigger and better change in the world. So we can actually go and save the whales, whatever, <laughs> like whatever it is you want to do. You know, for me, one of my big goals is I want to own an adoption center. I want to actually have a, um, an adoption. I want to be able to have a center where we can actually help people adopt children. You know, um, I, I have so many things that my wife and I want to do. We're so excited about, you know, making money and, and what we can do with the money. So anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. I really appreciate it. Please leave me a like, leave me a comment, do something that's, you know, that's say something, you know, that's going to help me understand more. Um, talk with me. Let this be a conversation. I want this to be a conversation with everybody. So anyways, thanks so much, everybody. Crypto Cody out.